everything! About what? Everything I did online! It's over! Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the least qualified South Park parents. We get that the adults in this fictional town aren't particularly bright, but they could really use some insight into how much damage they're causing their kids. Warning, expect a few small spoilers ahead. We can't afford $10 ice cream, alright? If you want nice things, then go out and get a job! Number 10. Ryan and Sarah Vollmer South Park Elementary's resident comedian Jimmy Vollmer is by and large a very nice kid. Try and make me laugh. Oh, I don't think that'll be hard. I've been working on my routine. And to be fair, his family life seems solid as well, at least from the outside. In most of his parents' interactions with Jimmy, they've come across as largely supportive of him. Now, Jimmy, it's nothing to be ashamed of. They even worry for him when he gets himself into various ridiculous situations. But we can't forget a certain comment made by his father, Ryan, in season seven. Not only did his parents make fun of kids with disabilities, but they literally view Jimmy's existence as a punishment for their past crimes. Ouch. That's right. You were sent here through the vengeful and angry hand of God to teach your mother and I a lesson. Number nine, Clark Malkinson. Scott Malkinson has diabetes. How do we know? Because it's pretty much his defining characteristic. It's bad enough that the other kids universally refer to Scott as the diabetic kid. But what about the fact that his father appears to treat him even more harshly? I love you so much, Dad. Please, can we get Disney Plus? God damn it! In season 23's Basic Cable, when we get a glimpse into Scott's everyday life, it's revealed that his dad cares much more about his battle against streaming services than Scott's feelings. The answer is no! Dad, please! At one point, he even mocks Scott in the same way Cartman does. Why are compassionate parents so difficult to come by in this town? I'm Scott Malkinson. I have diabetes. Unbelievable! Number 8. Garrison Sr. Garrison Jr. isn't exactly what you'd call an exemplary citizen. Although Garrison's father has only been featured in Season 3's Worldwide Recorder concert, he definitely leaves a questionable impression as well. Hello, Dad. Oh, hello, son. Can I come in? In one of the earlier season's darkest jokes, Garrison Jr. takes a lack of abuse growing up to heart while on a trip home to Arkansas. To resolve this issue, Garrison Sr. hires Kenny G to impersonate him and sneak into the younger Garrison's bedroom. Uh, I'm just fast asleep, not hearing anything. While it could be argued that Garrison Sr. only arranged this encounter to save his relationship with his kid, you can't deny that this whole situation is pretty effed up right here. Here you go, a hundred bucks. Oh, that's okay. Keep your money. Number 7. Mr. Guermo You might remember Bryden Guermo from Elementary School Musical, which was South Park's parody of the high school musical phenomenon. Even if you don't, it's hard to forget his dad. In a sort of inversion of the Troy Bolton character, Bryden dreams of playing basketball. Unfortunately, his musical theater-obsessed father pushes him to sing and dance instead. Basketball? No son of mine is going to be a sweaty little jock! When Bryden attempts to be honest with his dad, Mr. Guermo just aggressively and rhythmically starts slapping. Between ignoring his son's feelings, forcing his family to perform, and going slap happy on anyone who gets in his way, Mr. Guermo is hardly best dad award material. He's just a kid. You don't tell me how to raise my son! But maybe he has a chance at winning a Tony. I will Slap you until there's little red hand prints all over your face. Ow! Number 6. Mr. and Mrs. Tweak A classmate and acquaintance of the main boys, Tweak Tweak is virtually always on edge. Tweak! <coughs> Calm down, son. Remember what Dr. Norris told you. Find your center. When isn't he twitching, screaming, or otherwise freaking out? What makes him all the more disturbing is the fact that his parents are the ones who appear to be behind his constant anxiety. They're the owners of Tweak Brothers Coffee House, and they're constantly shown letting their young son drink copious amounts of their product, even though it keeps him perpetually anxious. Do you ever think maybe you shouldn't give your son coffee? Like, how do you mean? Like, look at him. He's always shaking and nervous. Ah! 
To add insult to injury, they've been known to manipulate Tweak on several occasions, often for the benefit of their business, which may or may not be a drug front too. At least Tweak has Craig to comfort him. Tweak's out of coffee, honey. Oh, here you go, kiddo. Number five, Leanne Cartman. Eric Cartman's single mother is considerably nicer than other entries on this list, but in this unique case, it's Leanne's giving and gentle nature that makes her such a lackluster parent. What are you doing with your time? Eric, I'm working two jobs. Mommy's doing everything she can. Leanne is almost completely blind to her son's sociopathic behavior, frequently giving him all the treats and toys that he wants. Not only does she allow Cartman to disrespect her, but she's rarely, if ever, seen stopping him from his various misdeeds. I'm sorry, Mama. If you're really sorry, then you'll understand why you aren't getting anything. The season 10 episode, tsst, has Leanne attempting to control her son's behavior with the help from the dog whisperer. While this briefly works, she and Cartman unfortunately fall back into the old dynamic by the end. Yes, darling. You can have whatever you want. Number 4. Gerald and Sheila Broflovsky Kyle and Ike's parents generally care about their kids, but sometimes they have strange ways of showing it. Let's look at Sheila's role as leader of the War on Canada in the 1999 movie. She starts the crusade to take down Terrence and Philip as a way of protecting America's youth. No, However, it soon becomes clear that it's more a matter of her own pride, and the same can be said for much of her antics in the series. You kids are addicted to the internet! You're sick and you're addicted! Meanwhile, Gerald shows his true colors in season 20 when he's revealed to be an internet troll. His behavior during this time likely leaves his sons with very little respect for their father. We hope the Broflosky boys find a good therapist. Stop being such a you okay, pal? Number 3. Randy Marsh Stan's dad Randy is the most heavily featured parent on the show. Let's face it, his stupidity can be pretty entertaining. Dad, aren't you supposed to, like, not drink and drive? I'm not drinking and driving, I'm driving while I'm drinking, right boys? But as the series has progressed, we've watched Randy turn from a caring, if clueless, father to a self-centered and self-indulgent man-child. Ah, oh, Jesus, not again. In fact, a lot of the humor in Randy's centric episode stems from his terrible parenting decisions, from drinking and driving, to infecting himself with cancer, to moving his family to a marijuana farm. Most of it can be chalked up to Randy's profound lack of common sense, but we can't help but wish better for Stan, and to a lesser extent, Shelly. I've forgotten I have a loving wife and a son, and I'm not going to forget them anymore. Number 2. Carol and Stuart McCormick While Mr. and Mrs. McCormick aren't usually mean to their three kids, they certainly can't be considered responsible. The two are frequently seen drinking, using illegal substances, and engaging in violent arguments with each other. You paid for it with the money I made washing dishes at the Olive Garden! I told you to shut up! As such, Kenny and his siblings are largely neglected and have been taken away by Child Protective Services at least once. Now please look at the camera and say, I'm white trash and I'm in trouble. Carol and Stuart do appear to love their kids to some extent. For instance, they've been to many of Kenny's funerals, but they seem to love their irresponsible lifestyle more. On the bright side, their awful parenting skills have led Kenny to form a tight bond with his little sister, Karen. <gasps> wow. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Steven and Linda Staunch Where do we even start with these two? Butter's mother and father are not only the worst parents on this show, but they're often counted among the worst parents in animated history. Every time Butter's father appears, he's either grounding his son, threatening to ground his son, selling his son to Paris Hilton, or worse. It'll have to be $250 million cash up front. Oh, hamburgers! Mrs. Stotch is little better, consistently being cruel to Butters and even trying to drown him in a car at one point. I'm going to get out of the car now, Butters. I want you to stay put with your seatbelt fastened. What's so frustrating about this is their constant mistreatment makes Butters, arguably the sweetest kid in town, 
think there's something inherently wrong with him, and he's shown to still care deeply about his parents' opinions. Where's Professor Chaos when you need him? I hope you're both very satisfied with the damage you've caused, because you're both grounded! Which South Park parent do you think is the worst? Let us know in the comments. <gasps> you guys never help me! Your stories never go anywhere! I hate it! I want out! I want out! Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.